A knockout can be described as a sensation of disorientation. It may manifest as blurry vision, loss of limb coordination, disordered balance, or numbness of the body. These sensations intensify when a person is being repeatedly hit with a series of punches, kicks, elbows, or knee shots, such as in a UFC fight. Eventually, the knockout hit is delivered, and they will finally lose consciousness. In technical terms, this is called a concussion. The concussion may be mild or severe, depending on the force and location of the strike on the head. Your brain is a soft and mushy organ within the skull. It is covered with three meninges, tissues that cover, protect, and nourish the brain, the outermost of which is connected to the skull. It is a very delicate, fragile part of your body, as you surely already know. When a fighter is hit with a heavy blow, the brain shakes inside the head. The grid of nerves and blood vessels connected to the brain also moves around, which can cause them to tear. It may not be just one blow that causes this movement. It can also be a series of blows, resulting in significant movement of the brain inside your skull. The resulting injury to that grid can cause certain functions to freeze. If you were to drop your phone, it may hang up or turn off, and you may have to reconnect it again or reboot it. Your brain does exactly the same thing. It shuts off after a hard shot, resulting in the loss of your motor functions and consciousness. You don't need big muscles or incredible strength to knock someone out. As Conor McGregor says, precision over power, timing over speed. The key factor for a knockout is the rotation of the head after the hit. In other words, you can punch someone straight on the head, but it won't necessarily result in the loss of consciousness. The most effective spot to hit a person for a knockout is the chin or jaw area. Hitting the jaw of a person with sufficient power at the perfect angle will cause the head to quickly rotate around. This causes maximum movement of the skull, thus affecting the brain. A blow to the side of the head can also be harmful. Hitting someone on the side of the head will cause the head to spin about, causing movement in the brain. Professional fighters aren't the only ones subjected to losses of consciousness. If you get in an accident while driving or slip on a patch of ice, your head hitting any hard surface can cause movement in the brain, which will lead to being knocked out. If you're in a fight, try to keep your chin tucked in and keep your hands close to your head, just like boxers. That will help you minimize the effect of the blows aimed at your head. It may leave you with a few heavy bruises on your hands and the sides of your head, but with some luck, you can defend yourself enough to run away or get in some blows of your own.